we all know that so many downswing faults are caused by what happens in the backswing. Today, I'm gonna to simplify it. I'm gonna show you where you should be at the top of the backswing just by focusing on the trail elbow position. Get this right, the rest of it will start to fall into place. So today is all gonna be about the backswing and I'm really just gonna focus on one part. I'm just gonna focus on the position of my trail elbow at the top of the golf swing. Now, one of the best drivers of our generation is and has been Rory McIlroy. He is a, an amazing driver of the golf ball and, and when he drives it well, he just leaves himself so many short pitch shots into greens, doesn't he? Because he's long and hits a lot of fairways. He makes the game look very, very simple. Now, he's in a very neutral position at the top of his golf swing. So I'm gonna focus on where his trail arm and elbow would be. And that's what I was just trying to demonstrate there at the start. And the simple checkpoint I want you to use is I want your trail at elbow to be about in line with your backside. So the back of your heels or your backside is where I want you to try and get your trail elbow in position with. So I don't want your arms too far in front of you or too far behind you. When you get your arms over in this position, normally you see an equal opposite reaction and we see an over the top movement. Golfers who are in this position, now they might change and reroute the club, but if they got their arms too much in front of them here, they've just really under rotated. They haven't made a full backswing. And because of that, we end up seeing quite often a rush at impact because they've not really fully coiled, they're trying to generate some power more with the hands and arms. So we, I want you to really fully load your backswing position. I want you to aim for creating that full 90 degrees to shoulder turn. I want you to apply the pressure towards that trail foot and hit your maximum at about three quarters of the way back, a good 80% over here. And I want you to feel like you've got a lot of time at the golf, at top of the backswing to deliver the club correctly in the downswing. I don't want you to feel rushed because what we really see with great golfers in the downswing is they allow their lower body to start to work first. Now it should move towards the target and it should start to rotate. When golfers feel rushed, they tend to work too quickly with their upper half, their upper body. So a real simple drill that I want you to do is simply using a wall behind you at home. You're gonna actually set up so your backside is touching the wall and your heels are gonna be pretty close to that. Now, you can't grip the club at full, so grip right down the bottom here. It doesn't really matter what club you're doing with, but grip towards the club head end. And what I want you to try and do is get your elbow to touch the wall that your backside is also touching. So you're gonna make a backswing and try and get your elbow to the wall. So now I'm getting that sensation of a big full turn of my shoulders to get there and getting that elbow just to touch the wall by the time you get to the top of the backswing there. It's a great sensation rather than the arms being too far in front of me, my elbow doesn't touch it or where my elbow hits it by about halfway back. So good feel, good sensation. Stop at the top there, let's try and get that elbow about in line with the back of the heels, pretty close to your backside, okay? So your backside might be a little bit behind your heels, but somewhere in that ballpark, pretty good. Now, I would also like to try and get that trail arm at the same angle as your spine, but this does depend on mobility flexibility here in the rotator cuff, the shoulder blade, and the traps so the the top of the back. You know, you may find that elbow flies a little bit more, you may be very, very supple and you can get that arm dead straight up, fantastic. But if we could aim to try and get it somewhere matching spine angle, that's a pretty neutral position. So elbow is in line with the back of my heels and my arm matches my spine. That's a pretty neutral top of the back swing position. That's also gonna help me get the right wrist angle. What you could do, and it may be hard doing this with drive, you don't have to, you don't have to do it full, is do somewhere you actually just stop at the top. Now I've got a mirror behind me here. So you may well use that on the driving range or get yourself on video, but I'm just gonna do a stop at the top, check the elbow position, hit. Yep. Okay, so I don't expect your best strikes, your best swings from there. It was a high kind of loopy draw, but I'm just trying to train my backswing position. Can I get that trail elbow where I want it to be? If I can get that part right, it's really gonna help me 
deliver the golf club on plane with good club face control. You know, we get that elbow position right, we get our wrist angles right, the wrist affects the club face, hence that connection there. Let's go ahead, rehearse it. That looks good. And then go ahead and hit one. Oh, that felt good. Just going a little down that left side, just overdrew it a touch. You can see I'm not as long and I'm not as accurate as Rory McIlroy, but start getting here right and it really helps. My swing path tends to be pretty good. My angle of attack tends to be pretty good. Where I guess I fall down a little bit with lack of practice time is perhaps club face control. You know, I got two degrees on the way up and my path was kind of zero. Um, so path is, is pretty good for me. It's just club face control a little bit more than anything else. Obviously just had the club face just a touch close there at impact. Let's see if I can hit one straight to one. Real simple video, all we're focusing on that trail elbow position. I want you to imagine, and this is something you, you could use if, if you're recording your golf swing and looking at it, draw a line at the back of the heels upwards. Can you get your elbow to touch that? I want you to imagine there is a wall on your backside there and we're just touching that wall like I did in the exercise. Pressure on me now to hit a straight one. Oh, and he delivers. It could hit the line. I don't often do that. I don't want to retake. <laughs> That's about as straight as I hit a golf ball. And good distance for me up there, just under 280, straight down the middle, really focusing on that trail elbow position. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on. If the video does help, hit the thumbs up. Share it with as many golfers as you can. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Right now, YouTube is suggesting the next video of mine that's relevant to you is just here. Click on it and check it out.